you know what? I've always wanted to get drunk in space. I just think that would be an amazing experience. Do you guys want to do it with me? Yeah? You're going to get drunk in space? Cool. Stick around for the rest of the stream slash episode to see me get drunk in space and you can experience it with me. G'day, this is Shay. And welcome everybody to Breathe Edge. So Breathe Edge is a pretty awesome game. Basically, you're a man who's taking his dead father's body in its casket still, way out into outer space to be deposited. I don't really know what the story is behind that, but it's a very funny premise to begin with. So the game is actually quite funny and I know it doesn't appeal to everybody's sense of humor. That's okay, but it is quite funny, a little bit crude, and I apologize for the lights. My light stand has broken, so it's propped up on my ironing board, <laughs> which is a little weird. And I think it's got some books behind it to make sure it's it's not on my face. It's kind of just lighting the background. I don't know, but um, hopefully you can see me and we can have a nice little experience in space. This game is of a humorous nature and does not seek to offend anyone. All the characters and events in the game are fictitious even if they're not. I'm really struggling with that. I don't really know. I, th I think it's supposed to be funny, and it is, but I don't, I'm thinking, I'm overthinking it. What does it actually mean? But anyway, stop. There may be strong language and scenes of violence in the game. At least we hope so. So there might be some strong language in the game, but you know that I know that you know that I'm not going to use that language. This is the guy that we are. He's super handsome. Look at that Beard. He's rocking it like a super sexy man. I want to get in there. I hope there's enough room in that space suit for me too. MacGyvering my lights, yes. We have this expression in New Zealand called number eight wire. So number eight wire is a type of wire that you use on a fence. Sorry for talking over this intro, but hey, this is a cool story. And basically a lot of New Zealanders, because back in the day we didn't have a lot of resources because we were an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So we would make do with what we had. So what we say when we say, that we're using number eight wire is that we MacGyver it. How you know it, MacGyver it. So that's what I'm doing with my, with my lights. So excuse me for the faces, the shadows on my faces. Searching for this font took longer than it did to actually make the blimmin' game. And there is no need for a director. I will be the director, thank you very much. This guy is not gonna smoke on my stream, I'm sorry. Goodbye. No, I'm not gonna let him smoke. Whoa, whoa, oh there we go. Yay, censorship. Let's see what he smokes instead or not. There we go. He's smoking a carrot. I bet that tastes good. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him R2D3. <laughs> or you tell us all you know from the well. beginning. No lie. Confirm. Okay, so we're gonna get interrogated by these creepy looking robots that are you tapping each other, driving me mad. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals <laughs> of green universe. Confirm? Um, tell him. Year 2073, somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. How we got there, I don't know. But look, the interstellar liner unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here, but they're not, I wonder why. Eh? Oh, there's our dead dad. And there's our live chicken. And our dead dad. Oh, I miss you, daddy. Hey, chicken. So, green universe, broccoli attack. Green universe activists promise new terrorist attacks if burying any kind of meat in space is not prohibited. So we're burying the meat of our dad. Of our dad. No, daddy! Find him. You think we're gonna find him? Ouch, that looks a bit painful. Where's the rest of our ship? Where is it? You missed the chicken. Yeah, I couldn't find the chicken for the longest time and then I found him. <laughs> that wasn't an episode that you never got to see. Chapter one, Lost in Space. Oh, grandpa, not father? I'm spinning inside my helmet. Yes, I did you actually notice me. that, Logo but I didn't think of it. Could just not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth, no lie. Confirm. 
Continue a def definite, definitely embellished story. Tell him. All right. This is the real story. You'll have to extract something from asteroids. 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 I'll have to extract things out of my... Beep. <laughs> Can I read? <laughs> okay, so equip item from slot, move, menu, fly, blah, blah, blah. We've got encyclopedias, we've got achievements, we've got a journal, we've got recipes. We've got all the perfect requirements for surviving in space. Let's go. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the yeah. loss of its reputation. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. <laughs> the chicken! To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> I just had to show you guys that! <laughs> the chicken! Okay. Let's stop being silly, the shall we? Your pocket. Yeah. Try not Ooh. to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Oh. You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost oh. won. We've won! Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals I'm in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. So we've got to improve the spacesuit, or become depressed, or call for help on the interphone. Well, I can see an interphone here. What's this one? Don't forget to feed the chicken. What does he eat? No, I'm not feeding him that. Nope. Nope. So, what is this? Examine. 2U313BACO. I've just picked that up and I didn't mean to. Okay, let's use it. Alright, so external antenna malfunction detected. Let's use this. Just the antenna, you'll have to go what? into outer space. What do you that for? You silly, silly boy. Man. Do, do, do. Let's turn this off because I don't want it to um, demonetize me. Oh, look! It's a toilet! Scan. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Ew! Press F to relieve yourself. Oh, look at that! I'm relieving myself. Isn't that beautiful? I can't actually open this thing. Why can't I open it? I want to pee in there, not all over the place. It's disgusting. You're promoting bad hygiene. Oh my gosh. That's the chicken. That is the chicken. Hello, Mr. Chicken. How are you? Probably. There is a big punchy thing over here. What is this? Uh, that. Take. Back scratcher. Oh, I got a back scratcher. Ooh, someone piddled on the bed. I don't want to rest. Let's take the rubber. <laughs> You mean to tell me that there's going to be condoms in this game as well? <laughs> they better not be. <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't want that kind of language to be used in my stream. I might be demonetized. Condom, condom. Shh! Don't say it. Don't. What is this? Oh, a survival guide. Ooh. Let's take that and put it in the insert video tape thing, maybe? Ads. Breathe Edge survival guide. This is going to tell you what to do. How to pee or not to pee. <laughs> this is Shakespeare. Space, so dangerous, so unpredictable, just like your bladder. I thought we had like a little machine in there that would help us. Ew, what happened to your hamster? Oh my gosh. In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at the most important moment. <sighs> do not panic. Don't look at that. This is wrong. Oh, that's disgusting. The tip number two, try to keep it all in and thoughtlessness, waste of resources can lead you to death. Maybe to drink your pee if you're desperate. Peeing, get really tricky speak, explore the environment in search of aids or an, or an analogue of your most valuable resources. Oh, we want to make stuff, like a helmet. A helmet would be useful in space. Whoa, are we going out there? We're going to find this toilet. We're going to find the hamster and pee on it. What? How do, how do I freeze? Collect any valuable items in space would be extremely cautious. Pick up stuff. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. No! Oh, you're an idiot. You deserve that. Which, what do you want? I'll put the chicken on there. What? What a waste of a chicken. With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or kill yourself. How, how am I going to do that? Oh, what's this? Oh, I can build stuff. <gasps> and pee, finally. All over the place, just like 
boys do. I didn't say men. So if you're a man, I wasn't talking about you. The end. If you're a boy, I'm talking about you. I've got some things in my inventory that I don't really need to hold. So let's just get rid of that. So we can transfer that, that, that. We don't need the picture of a chicken. We love the chicken, but we're not that serious about the chicken. You know what I mean? All right. What is this? This is a blueprint for a drill. It's probably useful. And this is... Why, does, why is disturbing factor uneven? The secret of longevity. Famous car exhibition turns out to be a disguise of cannibal chipmunks. That makes so much sense. And I feel my life is enriched just by reading those headlines. Is this poop? No, it's not poop. Right, I think it's about time we go out into space. What do you reckon? Or oh, we just look at this beautiful picture of this beautiful girl. It's a calendar of September 2073. I might be alive in 2073. Who knows? Let's go outside and have a look at this. What are we looking at? I think it's the uh, antenna. Whoa! We're in space. A source of increased radiation is detected. Whoa, what was that? Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation central will kill core? you instantly in such a suit. Where? The radiation? What radiation? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, task. To pick up stuff? No, we won't pick up stuff just yet. All right, let's go over here. Find this thing. Because if we can call somebody, we can get the heck that out of here. That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. Very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. Oh, you're you have an broken idiot. the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, you're which are idiot. encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Can I pick up that? Can I pick up that? Pick it up. Refined metal. What's this? Bottle of water. No, it's not. It's not refined metal. It's not bottle of water. It just means that I can make refined metal, and I can make a bottle of water. But what I actually picked up was something very different. I picked up ice because water freezes in space. And I picked up metal, which is too small and thin to do anything with other than throw it away. Oh, so we've got to throw it away, cool, okay. Don't, just choke the chicken. <laughs> Let's choke, I'm gonna call that my first episode, choking the chicken. You hear that Shay is jealous I can't sign my name in the snow. <laughs> Hands up, how many guys here have done that? Have you signed your name in the snow? Come on, or in the sand, or I don't know if you can do it on the dirt. I'm just gonna pick up some stuff because I feel like, oh, what's this? This is a different color. It can make a nutrition package. And I can't pick that up because it's too big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's too big. Oh, I need to remember how to how to do this. Hang on. It's like placement of keys everywhere. I know I could change that, but you know what? I can't be bothered wasting my time trying to figure out which which finger, which finger would prefer to touch that key, you know what I mean? Like me i've got 10 of them or five of them actually actually four of them in that, in that area it's like which which finger would like to caress the alt button softly so that i stop flying in space do you think i'll test it i'll test ping my name in the snow i'm sure i'll just have to wiggle my hips a little bit like shakira um okay so i fixed that thing now i need to what oh the interphone is broken so now I need to do something. What is it that I need to do? I probably need to eat something and drink something. So let's go in here and see what I can make. I can make a bottle of water. This is very useful because it will help me to survive in harsh conditions. Let's make two bottles. And let's see what kind of food we can make because food is probably very important for getting us, for, stop, for getting us to more living moments. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Okay, we can make two of these. And then I have one piece of ice left and it will probably melt in my pocket. So I'll have water. Okay, so equipment, enhanced spacesuit, helmet, tools. We've got a drill and a grabber. We need to get things like refined metal, battery wire, aluminiums. We can make alcohol. You know what? I've always wanted to get drunk in space. I just think that would be an amazing experience. Do you guys want to do it with me? Yeah, I'm gonna get drunk in space. Cool. Stick around for the rest of the stream slash episode to see me get drunk in space and you can experience it with me. Okay, we need fire on.